everybody this is just spiritual color and diamond painter i thought this time i come in with my diamond painting since i do say i'm the spiritual colorist and diamond painter and lately i've just been showing you my coloring but i also do diamond painting and for anyone who don't know what diamond painting is diamond painting is a particular art where you have a picture but then you have these drills that are even shaped in squares or circles or they're round and you place them on a canvas to illuminate the picture to make it beautiful and to bring forth the picture and what the picture looks like so you already get what the picture looks like and I told you guys I think I showed you in one of my other videos that I was doing my biggest diamond painting from BAC which was called um, Ron Ronin and it was really big but this one that I'm doing right here is my regular size diamond painting now I don't do huge diamond paintings so doing a picture as big as the DAC diamond painting has really freaked me out so I had to go back to my normal size like 40 by 40 or 30 by 40 because I'm not used to the huge size but I'm excited about doing it and really finishing it up this is one of my favorite artists that I found on Amazon. I did have one on Wish, but I like doing the square of this one because when you do the square diamond painting, the image comes out a little bit better. And I'm going to show you the entire diamond painting when I take the entire thing off. And as you can see, it is Prince. So what I usually do when I'm doing the diamond painting, as you see, I'm starting at the very bottom, and those are all the little square drills in that little section. I cover the most of the part that I'm not doing because the whole entire canvas is really sticky. So I cover up the part that I'm not doing. kind of fold it up a little like that now a lot of people kit up which is mean when you get your diamond painting they will come in little bags called drills which look like this these are the drills and a lot of times when you see diamond painters and people who have diamond painting channels ooh, no we don't want to have that <sighs> They um, review diamond paintings for different companies and they go through the drills and the drill field to make sure the drills look good. The diamond drills have DMC numbers on them. I don't kid up. I go one by one. So in my section right now, I might be doing next. Um, let me see. I look at the shape 823. So I'll have my 823. And I'm going to find it right now because I already have it and what I want it to be in on my 154. No, say I'm doing 154. And this is what I put my 154 in. I put it in this right here. Can you see that? I don't think y'all can see that. I put it in one of these little, I don't know, I sit it down like that. One of those little, um, they call it Tic Tac, Tic Tac things and I fill them up and then I pour them into my tray which is my diamond tray and this is my diamond paint pen one of them and these at the bottom is called your placer your multi placer and you can have a 10 placer right now I just got the four placer on there uh, but I like a 10 placer I love my placers and at the end right here is just the regular point where you dip your pen you put the wax first on the pen which may look like this this is my diamond art club wax and you stick the wax Ugh. sorry about that because that wax looks kind of crazy just a minute I'm trying to explain this as best as i can you put the wax right like that and you put the little thing on you dip it down and it gets the wax and then from there you put the drills and this little thing as you can see and then you shake them around 
in inside your tray and you take it and the drill will be on there and you stick it on the canvas in the place where the drill is at. Now I have 154 right here. So that will be what um one of the the legends or the picture going down. It would be one of the little icons going down and you would find that particular one and you would put it right there where it belongs and you keep doing that until you don't or you can pick it up with your placer and you can pick them up in force if you have um more than one and stick it on your canvas that way so as much as i love diamond painting i have no idea how people do because i bought my first dac diamond painting and y'all I don't, I love diamond painting. I've been doing it for two years and I've done many different diamond paintings. And one of the diamond paintings that I really love doing, let me see if I can, um, is portraits. As long as the portraits are big enough where you can see the face, excuse my heart, really good. And I don't know how many diamond paintings I've done by now. I've probably done over a hundred. But the one people out here that be doing diamond paintings, there are like woo, 55 by 75. I don't know how they do it. I usually do a diamond painting maybe for an hour and a half. The longest I've done is two hours. But people that sit and do diamond paintings two, three, four hours, I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they yawn, piss, do whatever, but I can't do it. And I love diamond painting. But I have... Um, a diamond painting. I bought my second one, which is called City Girl. I don't know if I showed you guys that one because I seen the size of it. And my mother, who started me with diamond painting, she had the diamond art club one with the girl with the glasses and the sunflowers. Um, and I was thinking it was going to be just a little wide, maybe a little wide. And during that time, me thinking, uh, it's not going to be that big. Oh my God, I opened it up and it was just as big as the Ryan. 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 I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but she's under here. So I'll show you her before I end the video. But it was just as big and I was like, I freaked out again. Like, ah! They are huge to me. So people love doing big diamond paintings. There's so many people, um, YouTubers who have channels who really enjoy the huge diamond paintings usually when i do these little 40 by 40s they call them snack sizes 30 by 40 i'm finishing two weeks three weeks and i go on to the next one of the diamond paintings i've done so i'm gonna show you some of the ones i've done that's portraits and i like my african-american ones this is one of the ones i've done i love my girl she got her air fro she's blowing up bubble and this is one of the ones I've done. And she's a what? I think she's a 40 by 45 or something like that. And when people measure it, they usually just measure the drill. But most of the time when you buy them, they're measuring their entire canvas and not just the drill size. So if you get them from Craftably, Diamond Art Club, DIY Moon Shop, you know, those kind of really well-known Diamond Art Club um not Diamond Club, but Diamond Painting Companies, they will measure more so by the entire canvas and not just the part where the drills go, which doesn't matter to me. As long as, you know, everything is legible like the way it looks. This is another one I did. This was my first actual, like, religious one. And this was the one I did of the Lord Jesus and it's really shiny and I loved it. I just started learning how to use this uh, washi tape. But a lot of people frame them. And a lot of people will cut the sides of the, you know, the canvas that you don't have to use and put it on the wall because it has a nice sturdy canvas. And with Diamond Art Club, they have the really um, under the bottom of it. It's a really on the back. It's a really soft. So this is the one I did of Jesus. And it shines really bright and pretty. And I'm planning on probably because I have so many to frame them and sell some of them this summer. And maybe you guys see them if you want. 
as long as I had so many. So before I leave and make my transition and moving back upstate, I might try to sign, sell some just to see if anyone is interested. This is another one of my African American portraits that I loved. That I love. Not love. Love. Um, my girl with the scarf on her head. And this is really small. This is a 30 by 30. And it's really shiny as you can see. And I love this one too. I'm just showing you a couple, y'all. I got so many that I've done. And it ain't no funny. And this is another one I have with the blessed hands. And the butterfly. And these are rounds. These are not squares. None of those that I showed you were squares. They were all rounds. But I do have those that I have done that are squares. Squares actually show the image a whole lot better to me. That's my personal opinion about squares. But squares are harder in allowing them to stay straight because you have to keep your squares actually in line. Um, and that was one of the biggest problems I had starting squares. Anybody who knows about starting squares know they are really hard to keep in line because you got to keep them together. But when you get finished, the image is stunning. So if you couldn't see the image of Prince, like for this part right here, let me see. That's how he looks. Um, there. That's about that. So I'm hoping to finish him by the end of the month. But everything else I'm doing, school, back it, and all that other stuff. Yeah. So I think I can do it though. It's, you know, some things just gotta put your mind to it and do it. Um, but yes, um, I don't know how a lot of people get through doing those huge, huge, huge canvases from Diamond Art Club. Because this Ronin. Uh, it's really big and I feel like I'm getting freaked out and then I've been doing a lot of my coloring where I've been practicing a lot of my techniques and y'all know I'm in love with Kirby and even though he's like so 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 extraordinary I love jumping into the challenge of just trying Kirby stuff I'm not a professional in coloring but the artistic side of me loves the challenge of putting color to a page and looking at the beauty that comes out of it trying the chalk, trying the pastels, trying the different styles and pencils and it helps you relax listening to music while you do it. Because I've never been a crafty person. I don't consider myself very artistic but this time in my life, my artistic side has definitely come out. <laughs> um, and it's one of the things I really do love. Prince is a musician and he's an awesome guitarist. I loved his music from a child, and I still love his music today. It's such a sad thing that he passed away so soon. Um, I am a beginner in learning the art and the music instrumental side of myself and playing the guitar. I've had family members who are artists, so I'm not going to talk too much about that, but I am beginning to embrace that side because I think you know you say put things on your bucket list you're like you know it's things that I always wanted to do I always had a desire to or something that just calls to your spirit but you really just don't jump into it at that time for whatever reason but yeah so and I'm always been a writer since I'm a songwriter so there's things that I've just been praying about you know we have desires and uh, then we have things that are just naturally gifts that God has given us and sometimes we don't even step into it because we don't recognize that they're gifts at the time and um you know it's like it's not the fad it's not oh this is what's it right now this is what everybody's doing so let me do it too sometimes there's something like you know I always had a desire to do that and you don't know it's um one of your creative gifts and within calling to you sorry I'm moving around so just step out and do what you know your spirit is telling you to do. And there's so many creative gifts that we have artistically. Sometimes we're not confident. Sometimes we're not um, as you know 
as sure of ourselves as we want to be. We know we can do a little something, something. I was like, I don't know if I'm really that good. And Prince was one of those people. Um, he knew he was good at what he did, but he was not always confident. And when he really got into it and he started doing his own music and he knew he was good and he got confident enough, you know, hey, I could do this myself. He was no stopping him. It was no holding him back. And I love his music his songs. He always was someone who didn't mind stepping outside of the box. And um, throughout his life, people don't know that he struggled with confidence about himself. He struggled with acceptance. He struggled with um, measuring up because he was a very um, short stature person. He was very shy. But he was very talented. He was the, a very talented and creative person. And his music speaks dimensions. Um, he played uh, instruments beyond instruments. He didn't just play one instrument. I think on his first album, he played all the instruments on his album. I remember American Bandstand. This is for y'all who are really young. And if you're watching this, don't know anything about American Bandstand. It was a music show where all the celebrities would come on and sing. And he played all the instruments, so he was always one of my favorite artists, and I forever loved him that he had to pass away the way he did. You know, one that really knows the pain or the mental anguish that someone goes through living that kind of lifestyle. And, you know, everybody was like, some people on drugs, you know, from prescribed drugs are more, there are more people addicted to prescribed drugs that are prescribed by doctors than there are illegal drugs. Period. There are more people addicted to prescribed drugs by doctors than there are people addicted to illegal drugs. And, um, you know, they said he had an overdose for whatever reason he had that overdose. Um, over some opium from pain medications and it's just sad um, but his music will forever be remembered for a lifetime Purple Rain is one of the most popular songs that he wrote that will always be remembered but there's tons and tons and tons of other ones Raspberry Beret I can name a whole lot of them that I love um, but he was an awesome artist and he was an incredible, incredible writer. So you talk about um, having so much talent, but then struggling with self-esteem, struggling with trying to find your place in life and not being confident in someone who is just so incredibly talented. You look at an artist like Prince. So if you have self, low self-esteem and don't always feel confident, you know, trust and believe God has a gift in you that he wants to bring out he has a purpose in you that he wants to use you where you can be a blessing and encourage and inspire someone else through your gifts through your talent through your ability even when i look on um youtube and listen to all these youtubers who are have such great personalities and who knows i mean we're not on here to like i'm not on here anyway to try to become famous but I said, you know what, God, through this pandemic, through my journey right now, sometimes you just speak into my heart. And maybe I could speak a message into somebody else's life. Maybe I could share some of the things I'm going through and just be a messenger. And, you know, I might have family and friends. I mean, you're always good at coming up with things to say about different things because I find messages in, in everything. And I just having something to say. But that's just the way God has created me. You know, right now I'm just filling my drill getting out my other um, drills to put in this little container so I can start putting these drills on this canvas and I said okay and I struggled because I knew when I did my business I wanted to actually just allow people to understand who I am what I'm about but I didn't want to go on here half stepping but somebody said just step out the box you know step out and just do whatever and I was like when I did it I didn't want to just be out here just doing anything I wanted to learn a little bit about editing I wanted to learn a little bit about the lighting. So um, I don't like to listen to my own voice. I don't. I really don't. Um, a lot of times I had to really get used to that. 
and um, my messages are always, like I said, I try to be positive. I try to come up with something motivating. Just talk about normal, everyday things. But to always have a positive message behind it. Because life is unpredictable and we never know what's going to happen day by day. But if you can say something positive to bless someone else or to just be motivating. Or say something positive to uplift someone else's spirit. You know, you never know. We're all going through changes. We're all sometimes going through a lot of the same things we just don't recognize. So like I said, let's listen to some of the YouTubers on here. We're just sharing their stories and I listen and I laugh and I enjoy the personalities and just the way some people like I woke up this morning and listened to a lady who was a new YouTuber and I thought she was called Crafty Savage but I just liked her personality and I was like yeah I just felt it and I was like I just like the personality and it's just sometimes you wake up and you like oh or something you know you look come on turn the TV on and something lightens up your spirit everybody don't wake up feeling oh it's gonna be a great day shouting and happy as can be and clapping hands sometimes you feel like oh, oh god what kind of day is this gonna be and someone says something to make you laugh someone says something to make you say thank you you might hear a word a positive message you know a scripture that enlightens you and say thank you god for that or something that tickles your funny bone you never know what the day is going to bring and sometimes we wake up on the wrong side of the bed and life just feels like, oh, you know. So um, always try to bring some kind of positive energy. Um, you know, sometimes you give out what you put out. You get back what you put out. You know, so if, if even if you don't feel positive, if you put it out somewhere down the line, you will end up getting it back. Even if you don't start off feeling positive. And that's just the way life goes. So, you know, but um, art is a gift to be able to be creative. And I think, you know, God just allows us to be creative in this way so because there's so many ways he can speak. To, we could speak to others through art. How many ways we can learn to be creative and express ourselves. And then when you have these little drills, there's so many different colors. Like I think this actual particular canvas has... Let me see. Have over oh, just about 20 something colors in it. I think about 25 different colors. Sometimes the colors could be a dark brown, a light brown, then a lighter brown, then I got a purple, then I got a dark purple, then I got a blue, then I got a darker blue. And it'd be getting on your nerves because one thing about drills like these when you put them on the canvas, on the canvas, depending on the company. It doesn't matter what company sometimes too. Um, when they make these drills, they can pop because they can be different sizes. And right now I got another purple. And like I said, these square drills, you really have to learn how to line them up because they can all look so crooked. But once you start lining them up all together, one by one, you realize it'll all come together. And they all start looking straight. And then you can straighten it up because they do have what they call a straightener. Or you could take your credit card and kind of put your credit card in between it and um, straighten the drills out. But you just go one by one and put all your drills on the canvas. And purple is one of the most beautiful colors. I love purple. You know, my favorite colors are red, gold, and black. But yeah. I love purple too. And it's a beautiful um, color. So, if you're an artist, you know, don't be afraid to step out of the box. Feeling unconfident about what you do sometimes happens. Not always feeling like you are the best or not feeling down like I don't think this is good I don't think this is good enough trust me every the one of the most greatest artists the most people who are most successful has felt the same way have doubted themselves a thousand times before they stood up and really felt like I can do this even Michael Jackson all these people Beyonce I don't care who you talk about doubted themselves somewhere down the line in their career didn't always feel like they could do it or believed in themselves without doubting first. 
and I don't care what it is you do, we always feel that way. We are harder on ourselves than anybody else. So, you know, believe in yourself. Know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That you can do all things through Christ Jesus. That um, we don't have to be like everybody else in order to be successful. In order to be talented. And through song, through art, you can speak volumes. You can touch people's lives, hearts. You can um, motivate people. You can change people's lives. I like different. I always say that. And I like her because he always do something that you totally uh, wouldn't think of. I love the way he do animals in Fragile World. and um, He has all the list of animals that are really extinct. And that's what I'm going to bring out my Fragile World book because I was really reading. I just started reading about the different animals and where they were from in the back of his Fragile World book. And how they are extinct in different places. And I just love the information that he gives um, in the back of that book. I was like, oh, this is awesome. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You know, so, you know, I want to come on here and show y'all my diamond painting. Um, my other diamond painting is under here. It's a girl with a tambourine, and she's by Micah Jelena. I love Micah Jelena. She's another artist. She does a lot of portraits, too. I even have her first coloring book, and I did my first coloring page in her coloring book her first um volume coloring book called willow and i like the um, way she draw draws women um, yeah some of these artists are just extraordinary you know you never know who's gonna love what you do and fall in love with your difference and say oh you draw you know characters in such a unique way and you never knew that, you know, you just sitting home doodling or drawing, but had no idea that three years later you would have your own books or someone would fall in love with something that you're doing or someone would actually look at the, you know, the different styles that you put to your characters that you might have been drawing since you was a child. And now all of a sudden people are in love with your art. People are talking about you from one state to the next because that's your gift from God and I think that's extraordinary y'all I also love Hannah Lynn I like the way Hannah Lynn draws on people I like her little women characters and they're always like oh I think Miss, Miss Crochet and Coffee released something by her and um I forgot what she called I was like oh my god that's Rainbow Bright <laughs> it was a woman with these rainbow and this little thing. She has like a little unicorn or something behind her. But if y'all know who Rainbow Bright is, it is a character from the 80s. And I remember her doll. I remember her show, her cartoon. I think everything. They say nothing new under the sun. I was like, oh my God, they're bringing back Rainbow Bright. But yeah, nothing, everything comes back. Everything's like, everything's going to come back. Everything from the 80s is going to come back. Next, you watch. It's going to be the hairstyles. It's going to be the big bows they used to wear in their hair. Y'all remember how they used to wear them? Madonna clothes. Oh, my God. They're going to bring it all back. Watch. My mama used to say that. I remember when they had the bow-legged pants, and I used to like them. I was like, girl, I used to wear them all the time. They, they're just bringing it back. Everything is coming back full circle. So be confident. Know that your gifts are given to you for a reason. And as I get older, I think a lot. So you know what? I'm just gonna step into my zone, do what I'm called to do. And if it goes, takes it takes off and goes somewhere, thank God for it. But you know, don't be fearful because, like I said, some of the most greatest artists they didn't weren't always confident in what they were gonna do either. But Prince left this world with so much that he can be credited for with songs that people will remember him by for a lifetime and music that no one will forget that he can pass people will pass down to their children and his name will be remembered all over the world because of how awesome his music is you know so i just want to come to you guys with that and show you some diamond paint skills these are my square drills as I said before, they're not easy because you got to get these bad boys straight. And when the cams is sticky and you're trying to move it around, it is not easy. But you can go to all these different diamond um, 
painting companies such as Diamond Art Club, Craftably, DIY Moon Shop. Amazon has a lot of ones on sale, but we always talk about watching out for stolen artwork. I hope you appreciate art and you don't like buying something where an artist has drawn art and put it out there to, um, to a certain company and someone steals it and they're not getting paid for what they're what they put out there because someone wants to steal it and you appreciate that then you don't want to buy stolen art some people don't care well you know that's you but if you do appreciate the fact you know you know what it's like to be an artist don't buy stolen artwork and it's so hard today because i have been on wish a thousand times and bought um you know stuff for theirs and i've never really even had a big problem with them but now when you got artists who are named under just certain particular companies and you don't know who they are and that may be their artwork you have to really really be careful so you know be mindful if you care you care if you don't oh well life goes on comes around goes around but once again be confident be blessed i am also subscribed to my channel if you like my content this is my diamond art painting i'll show you my other one from Diamond Art Club. It's not, I'm going to show you the whole thing. This is my Prince one, as I told you. I think I got this from Amazon. I might have got it from Witch Hope. I forgot y'all the order from so many places. And I kind of calmed down on buying, <laughs> buying a diamond um, paintings for a minute. And when I got into my coloring, I kind of just calmed down for a minute out. It's something when you get into a craft, and I'm not really a craft person once I got into it. That's my writing, yes. And that's how I started her. She's a beautiful, beautiful thing. That's the top part. And I kind of just fold it up. I know I'm going to regret that. Um, I think I can work that out. She's one of my pretty girls. I love her. I'm going to go back to her, y'all. But I had to get to my prints. I'm going to be finishing him in a minute. I'll be finishing him. The end of the month. I'll probably finish and wait for the end of the month because it ain't going to take me that long. I just had so many other things I'm doing right now. But yeah, right now I'm starting at the bottom of my canvas. Sometimes I start at the top like we're Ryan and I started at the top because um, I wanted to get the ABs the, um, or at the top that was called the shiny ones, the earlier, the more shinier diamond drills for the earlier get the name they call them but they call them the a b drills they're the more shinier ones were at the top and the face was at the top and i wanted to do that first with the run and so i started at the top with that one but this one i started right here at the bottom and this is going to show you the full prints so as you can see whoo, don't, don't spill He's like right here, so y'all can see him. See his face a little bit. And he has the guitar. But right now I'm at the very bottom. And when it finishes, it's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to finish it. Yes, this is definitely going on my wall. Um, yeah, oh my god, I have a Michael Jackson one also. <laughs> yeah, I did. I have one of Michael Jackson. I've seen how both of them look when they're done. Because if I get a diamond painting, and I'm not really not sure how they look, I always make sure I get to see how they look sometimes before I buy them. Because so I want to make sure, you know, they look legit. I have to go get my nails done this weekend. I've been putting it off because I had, since the pandemic came in, I wasn't really getting my nails done. I was the one who used to keep them done. But now I haven't been getting them done. I'm so used to not having them done. I'm like, okay, I don't even know if I want them done yet. Because I didn't. And so used to not having them done. But the pandemic is, you know, trying to calm down with everybody getting the vaccine. And Biden was saying this summer, everyone's going to start getting together and being together for the summer. I just say stay safe, pray. Because the only person that has the real answer to this pandemic is God. Do what you feel is best for you. That's my personal opinion. Ask God to be with you. Do what you feel is safe. 
you want to get the vaccine, get it. If you don't, then pray about it and ask God to be with you. You know, if you can get the, if you get COVID, you don't have to die from it. You know, you get the vaccine, you can still get it, but it might don't be as dangerous. You know, it's just so much. <sighs> but you know, it's the kind of world we live in. We gotta have faith in God and just ask God for direction, and guidance. Be safe as possible. My prayers and sympathy go out to anyone who has lost a loved one due to this pandemic or COVID 19. That you are um, still blessed and God is with you. And I ask them to heal your heart and to be with you at this time. Anyone who has had COVID 19 and survived it. God is with you also. It's not easy going through, you know, all these different physical ailments and trials and not knowing what's going to happen next. So as I said, be blessed, be confident. If God says in his word, if you can be confident in yourself, be one thing, be confident in me. And know that I am the Lord. Be blessed, everyone. And have a blessed day. Just want to come to you one more time with my diamond painting. So, check you out later. This is Prince. Have a blessed day. Let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. Bye.